Hello, hello, thanks for tuning in. Today, we wanted to show you a cool little RC rock crawler that's commonly sold on eBay and Amazon. It's the WPL C series. This is the C24-1 upgrade uh, for 2022. So we'll take a look at it. And as you can see, there's grass here. The tires are filled with mud. It's already beat up a little bit. I did use this several times and ran the battery down from full to empty three times to get an actual feel of what this thing can do and the actual battery life. So it, commonly, it looks like a, a Toyota, an older 80s or early 90s model Toyota. You can see it's got the snorkel there. And I put all the stickers on that it came with. It's got a pickup bed. The doors don't open, the hood don't open, the tailgate don't open. The only thing that opens is the little cargo hatch here, which holds the battery, which is a 7.4 volt, 500 milliamp battery. And I can tell you this thing lasts a while. They advertise it to run about 20 to 30 minutes, I think. And I averaged an hour of runtime and runtime over terrain that I'm going to show you in a video after this, but this thing performed flawlessly. It's, like I said, nice and dirty. This is the upgraded one. It has the metal ring and pinion gears inside, but it still has the plastic axle housing and drive shaft. You can get upgrades for all this. Everything's plastic, uh, but inside here is metal. So that's the upgrade that you get with this C24-1 as well as the bumper here and you can see I've already lost a little D-ring there so that's gone other than that it's got the ESC I believe it's called or some type of module in here that allows you to throttle it very slow or fast and the steering you can half steer it full steer it so it's not like the old ones that are all or nothing so it's pretty durable easy to use remote simple one switch and some trim for the steering you just flip the switch on and then you flip the switch on on the truck and it syncs up automatically the truck has headlights. You can see they're flashing there. Once it's synced up, so you can turn the wheels slowly. You can control it. Yeah, I think it's a really, really good truck for the price. So now we'll attach some videos. And we'll come back. Alright, we have the WPLC 24-1. This is the common RC rock crawler truck that's found on Amazon for about 80 bucks. This is the upgraded version that has the metal ring and pinion gear, but it's still a plastic axle housing and everything else is plastic. Um, and you get the precision control with the steering. And I'm doing that very slow so you can see that and that's flat out so it has like um you can control it how fast you want it to move and then this is it moving forward Going back. all right so it's about 30 past the hour here so we're going to start playing with it and see how long battery life is and catch some good shots and see if this thing actually is a good rock crawler right over that. Just taking the train nice and slow. This is some good flesh out here. It's a big stick.
All right, and we're at a little kind of ravine here or canyon, and we're going to start to go up it. And we're just taking it easy, nice and slow. We'll go over these roots here. Back up, that might be a big root or tree. There we go. Alright, we're going to go up a pretty big slope here and through some really dense sleeves and we're going to just go full throttle all out and see what happens. That is really thick leaves right there. And right over that thick branch. Cleared it. There's another thick one. And we conquered it.
All right, we're gonna try and navigate this here. Tires are too slippery, probably. Oh, no. All right, as you've seen in the videos, this thing performed extremely well for a sub $100 RC toy. It took abuse, so if you're afraid, if you're gonna buy it for your kid, if it's gonna break, it's really not. The only thing I can say is maybe glue these mirrors on because they like to pop off, and the D-rings, they like to pop off. Other than that, uh, it's pretty reliable, pretty strong. Like I said, over an hour of playtime. You can go through mud with it and light water. I wouldn't submerge it. It's not listed as waterproof, but other people have got videos that show it going in water. So yeah, this is definitely, definitely a great buy. Stick around. We're going to have a series on this thing. We're going to build it out. We're going to work all the kinks out of it and see how good we can get this thing. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.